All right, today, with the help of my camera girl Rosie over here, <laughs> I'm going to do a video I always wanted to do ever since I saw Doug Walker, aka Nostalgia Critic, do it. He did his top 10 movies that he hates, everyone loves, and then responded to it with the top 10 movies he loves, everyone hates. Unfortunately, there aren't many movies that I hate that everyone loves. Most movies that everyone loves, I also happen to love or like. But today I decided to go with the obvious movies that I love that everyone else seems to hate and there are quite uh, there are quite a few of those so let's get started at number 10 we have Street Fighter with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Raul Julia anyway not the best video game movie uh, I hear Mortal Kombat is the best one I've never seen those it's I never played the game, so I always thought this was a fun movie. The acting, especially on Jean-Claude Van Damme, is uh, horrible. I I'd love to know what made them think. Here's an all-American character. Let's get a Belgian to play him. Doesn't really work out. It's an okay movie. Fine action flick. John won't admit it, but he likes it too. Shh. And number nine, the backup plan. Rosie made me watch that. It's, uh, it's a chick flick with... The wonderfully sexy Jennifer Lopez. And uh, compared to every other movie that CBS Films has done, Extraordinary Measures and Beastly, this one I actually didn't mind so much. It's still not a good movie, but better than all the other films they made. And Jennifer Lopez is nice to look at too. And uh, according to Rosie, so is Alex O'Laughlin, if that's how you pronounce his name. The hot guy. Number eight, we have Eyes Wide Shut, which I actually think is Kubrick's most underrated feature. We got Tom Cruise and uh, the wonderfully beautiful Nicole Kidman. And uh, I don't really know how to describe this movie other than uh, it's a movie about a sex cult. It, it, well, actually, it's not really about a sex cult. It's about a married couple and, you know, uh, they kind of contemplate, they kind of complicate their relationship, you know, Debating, you know, what what the meaning of it's a movie that, you know, uh, de debates the meaning of, of marriage. It's just very interesting, as long as it's really hard to, to describe. So, check it out one of these days. Also, you get to see Nicole Kidman pee, which is odd, but everyone seems to talk about that. Even Javi three zero five seven eight six. Number seven, we have Cutthroat Island, which is probably one of the worst pirate movies I have ever seen. But I still didn't hate it, surprisingly. Uh, if you saw the video uh, unboxing with John of the Flick Pick, uh, it was a lot of. It was one of the things he sent me. I liked it. I didn't think it was great, but I liked it. Number six, Indiana Jones 4. Not as good as the first three, especially not the third, but I thought it was fun. And uh, I'd get into great detail as to why everyone seems to hate it. I do, uh, I do understand people's reason for hating it, but I just couldn't hate it. Sorry. Okay. Number five, we have Iron Man 2. Another sequel. Go figure. There might be a lot of those. Not as good as the first one. I still thought it was entertaining. You know, I didn't feel like I wasted any money when I saw it. But I thought it was fun. Still, not as good as the first one. But uh, I liked it. John bought it. Fucking whore. Okay. Number four, we have X-Men The Last Stand. Which, again, shut up, Zaren Isarak. I know. But uh, I liked it. Not as good as the second one. And I, uh, I also liked Origins. It's not going to be on here, but I, uh, that's an honorable mention. And no, I haven't seen First Class as of yet. I, I do plan to, though. I liked X-Men 3. That's about it. Number 3, Spider-Man 3. Again, these aren't as good as the predecessors, but I still really like them. I just thought they were fun and entertaining, and I was a kid, and I still like them because of that. Shut up. Amen. Number 2, we got Freddy Got Fingered, which is probably, in my opinion, the funniest movie I've ever seen. I love Tom Green. Uh, Rosie thinks it's disturbing, uh, and uh, Oliver, my friend, also thinks it's hilarious. And I like Tom Green, and I always thought Freddy Got Fingered was hilarious, so not much else to say on that. And the number one, the one movie that I love that everyone else seems to hate is The A-Team. Uh, Rosie hasn't seen it yet. I'm getting it in a package for making that intro for John, that new The Flick Pick thing. And uh, I love that movie. I'm sorry. I love it. I liked uh, I love uh, the 80s series that it's based on, and I love the movie that is based on the 80s series. And come on, Liam Neeson is badass. That's my top 10 movies that I love that everyone else seems to hate. And uh, next time, I hope to do the top 10 movies that I like 
but I will admit are overrated. Uh, so check in for that. Also, click this link in the description box. I'm doing a podcast with my good friend Oliver Bulmer, also known as Invid Ninja 92 on YouTube. It's a very nice, uh, it's a very funny film podcast. There's already two episodes up right now, and I hope you enjoy them. So uh, see you later. <laughs>